here are some of my favorite features in iOS 17 and how I like to customize my phone and my iPad. Okay, the first thing I wanted to show you that I loved is the interactive widgets on the home screen. So I did a to-do list and it has been so convenient. I've used it all week. To do the to-do list, you'll go into your reminders app and I created one specifically called to-do. So mine already has um, two things in there, but I'll show you how you can add more later. So now we're gonna edit the home screen. If you press and hold and then do the little plus sign, and then here's where you can add your widgets. Go down to the reminders and you can pick the different sizes. I liked mine just this small one in the corner. Okay, so it pulled up this list. So now I'm gonna switch it to my to-do list. And it's so convenient because throughout the day I've, I always am updating this. So we'll just say that I picked up my prescription. So you can just mark it as done. And if you need to add a new one, you'll just click into it and do new reminder. And there you go. The interactive widgets are so nice. The other one that I also love is to add the music one. And then you can just press play right from your home screen, which is so nice. Okay, the next thing is the contact posters. You can find it at the top of your contacts page and you can have more than one. So let's create a new one. You can choose between your photos, your memoji, or your monogram. Okay, I'm gonna pick this one and then you can size it how you like it. And then you can swipe and it will either change the color of the background. I like this one, how it makes it black and white. And then you can pick your background color, which is really cool. And then you can change the style and the size of the font. I kind of like that one. Now it has both of those saved in there. So you can add as many as you want. Another cool feature is the share contact feature that you do and you put your phones together, which is so cool. Um, this is just with my husband's, but obviously I already had his contact, but it still worked. So, so cool to try. So we had these different fonts before in iOS 16, but now you can change the thickness of them. I think I like that one the most. And then I also went with a fall color theme for the text. And then I just added these little widgets at the top. I just like the, the little square ones. Okay, another cool feature is if you go to your photos, press and hold, and then you can do add sticker. And now you can create different effects on your stickers. And it changes with how you hold your phone. I always choose the outline one just cause it's like your classic. So now it's saved in your stickers. So whenever you get to your emojis, it will be that little icon right here. It's the same thing with the iPad too. So if you're doing digital planning, go into GoodNotes and then you'll use the text box tool. And then you can access your stickers by the little emoji and the little sticker icon. And then from here, you can just drag it down. This is a great way to like customize your planner spreads and make all your own stickers. It's so cute. The next thing is standby mode. I was so excited about this because I had a little stand that the phone can sit upright on. You just have to make sure your phone is charging and then you can flip it to landscape mode and it will automatically pull up. Press and hold and then you can customize how you like it. There's different options. This one's kind of cute. And then how you customize, you select this little button right there and then you can change the colors. I personally like neutral colors, but these are all pretty vibrant, but I kind of like the pink one. Yeah, that looks so cute. So this section is your clock section and you can go ahead and customize all these different ones, how you like it. And then if you swipe over, oh my gosh, that is so old. <laughs> you can edit your photo section. And then here is like your widget section. So you can add different widgets here. There's a smart rotate, so you can leave the smart rotate on and it will rotate through all these different ones. You can remove whatever ones you don't want to rotate through. So yeah, just play around with it. I kind of like how that one looks. The iPad lock screens has so many to choose from now. I love these little hello. And then this is where you add your widgets. 
What's your favorite features in the new iOS 17? Do you like the phone more, the iPad more? Let me know. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.